That is our big story tonight at 5. A young mother killed, caught in the crossfire on Milwaukee's north side. This tragedy is shaking loved ones and community members to the core. Fox 6 is Derricka Williams with more on the loss in the video, Derricka, that catches a fatal gun battle. That's right, it sure does. Jasmine Banks was driving home with her twin sister and their two young kids in the back seat when the gunfire erupted. An innocent 23 year old had her life cut short, and now her five month old child has to grow up without her, and her loved ones can't bear the emotional pain that's occurring all because of this. Reckless with no regard for anybody around them. Surveillance captures one of the suspects who opened fire during a gun battle across 5th Street Thursday night. Just as bullets were flying, Jasmine Banks was driving this white car passing through. Her twin sister Tyra Banks was in the passenger seat. Someone was fighting, I looked over and her head dropped. Struck in the head by a stray bullet. I can't get the picture up my head. And I was holding her. Together during their first breaths of life, and sadly, Jasmine's last, Tyra is broken, grieving immensely. Our bond was inseparable. So was the one between this mother and daughter. No. Hurt, broken. A piece of me is gone. Ronica Banks is hurting. She didn't do anything to anyone. Gripping each other, trying to find strength. These women sob not only for their loss, but the void that's left with her five month old son left behind. He and Tyra's six year old daughter, who were in the back seat during the shootout, are physically okay. But this senseless crime is leaving emotional scars on many. What is it going to take for people to see they're tearing people apart? We are all supposed to be brothers and sisters, especially in the black community. We are doing more damage to ourselves than anybody else. Innocent bystanders. Look how many people that die within a month here. And Jasmine's life is being remembered tonight at a vigil near 5th and Center at 730. Funeral arrangements are still in the process of being made and funds are needed. If you would like to help donate to the funeral or even help contribute toward her infant who was left behind, we've put a link on our page, fox6now.com, to their GoFundMe site. Reporting in Milwaukee, Derricka Williams, Fox 6 News. Just terrible. Derricka, thank you.